안녕하세요. So I have so I actually got a DNA test for myself because I wanted to see what my percentages are you know my DNA. If I am really a full Filipino a Filipina or if there's mixed blood in me. So yeah, so I actually got the kit, I believe, in April, I believe, April. And it takes about six or eight weeks to get my results. And I finally got the result yesterday. And I'm going to look at it today. I'm really, really excited and very nervous. Uh, okay, background story, history. Um, I was born and raised in the Philippines. Um, my mom is Filipino. My dad is Filipino. I have a stepdad right now, but my biological dad, um, he passed away when I was little, but uh, he was also a Filipino. But the Philippines have been under Spain rule for many decades um, before America took over a little bit of years and then of course World War II happens and there was Japanese um, uh, <laughs> infiltrations and then we had other countries come over to our country for protection from like um, Holocaust the Jews came over um, to our country and then of course the Indochina and then the Vietnam and Russians came over and then Indians and Palestines and so yeah so we might I might have mixed blood my family might have mixed blood I'm not sure so I am very very excited to find out because I've always been curious about my little bloodline and heritage I would say so yeah so excited! Okay, so I'm gonna record my laptop for you guys because I oh, why not? Hopefully it works. Okay, so it's recording, and I see the results right in front of me. So your ancestral results are ready. So, oh god. Okay, so your breaking. Yeah, my ancestral breakdown is 55% Philippines, of course, because I am Filipina. But oh my gosh, I did not expect Germany. There's German history? What? Okay, there, like I said, the Holocaust did happen and the Jews did come over to our country for protection during the Holocaust time. But Germany? 9.7%. And then, of course, 9.4 percent of Ken Vietnam Vietnamese. I have no sure. I am not sure what that is. So I'm gonna read my origin story for a sec. Possible related countries of origin include Spain, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Taiwan, China, India, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Papua New Guinea, and Australia. But my East Asian countries is much more, which is 23.6%. And then I have European <laughs> bloodline a little bit of 21.4%. But it's Kin Vietnamese. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, I do have Chinese. Southern Han Chinese and Chinese Dai. Which I will actually read about that later because I'm not sure what those three are. And then I have Germany, Italy, Southern Central Slavic, British Isles, and Spain. Oh my gosh, only 0.9% Spain. I was expecting more, but more of German. Like, wow, I'm German. 
I'm not half German, but you know. 9.7% German. But wow. It's Asian. It's only like. 3% off from the Vietnamese percentage but wow 55% 55% of Philippines 55% I thought it was more than that that's like Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Lay. Sorry, my camera just cut off. Okay, so, Keen Vietnamese. So, puzzle related countries of origin include Cambodia, France, Australia, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, Germany, Laos, and Malaysia. So, this is Vietnam. More specifically, how Ho Chi Minh City. But oh my gosh. The Southern Han Dynasty. Not Dynasty, Southern Han Chinese. Okay, so the Han Chinese are an Asian ethnic group native to China. The Han take their name from the Han, Di <laughs> Han Dynasty, one of the golden ages of China. Before this time, they were called the Huaxia. They make up the world's largest ethnic group of about 1.3 billion people. They have lived near, lives in the near, lives in the area near the Yellow River for over four millennia. Oh wow. The, the Han dominated the majority of China's history and culture, making China's history own. They also assimilated several other ethnicities into their own. Some of the ethnicities include the Manchu, Chang, and the Wuhan. Oh, so the Han Dynasty. Okay, and then we have the Chinese Dai. This is Myanmar, China, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. Okay, so the Chinese Dai people live in the southernmost portion of the Yunnan, Yunnan province of China. Dai people also live in adjacent countries including northern Myanmar, Laos, and Taiwan. They also go by the name of Tai Lu people. They are closely related to the southern South Asian, Lao, and Thai people. Wow. 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 My history. What was going on? 7.1% and then the Filipino. And then 9.4% Vietnam. 7.1% Chinese Chinese 9.7% German which is much more only 3% 3.3% over Vietnam and I got the southern central Slavic area which is genetic breakdown 1% percent from southern central slavic so only one percent the first historical mention of slavic people dates back to roman expansion in eurasia but slavs are believed to have occupied much of eurasia long before then there are many slavic migrations throughout the centuries under roman and byzantine rule these historical migrations made it to made it so that Slavic people were split into three subgroups by 680 West Slavs, East Slavs, and South Slavs So ancestry South Slavs is primarily tied to the Balkan regions inclu including Bulgaria, Croatia, and Serbia just to name a few while centuries, centuries 
of Byzantine and Ottoman rulers may have played a significant role in shaping Slav Slavic culture. Southern Slavs have held onto a unique genetic identity. Ooh, a unique identity. But I am, what? Saturn Central Slavic. So both, like Central and Trent. And my camera cut off again. <laughs> Okay, so British Isles. The British Isles were first settled by modern humans as far back as 12,000 years ago during the end of the last ice age. So I am from British Isles. Okay. But not that much. Only 1%. And then I, I can't believe 0.9% of Spain. What? Where is my Spain? My Spanish heritage went. It just disappeared. It's like, bye bye. <laughs> but I think my belief is that I'll basically throughout history, we. At first, it, it was like a mixed um, genetics at first. Not, I won't say genetics, but mixed heritage at first like it wasn't really all pure filipino that got married into my family history so throughout the time of history of course there's a whole bunch of filipinos now um i'm guessing as years went by our history back down just disappeared as like vietnamese and german but it's still, it's still, it's still there. About fifty-five percent of pure Filipino. I'm, I'm proud. I'm happy. But it's shocking to me that only point nine percent Spain, Spanish is in my blood. Like what? <laughs> oh my god. My mom does not know this yet. My, my stepdad doesn't know the results yet. No one in family knows except for me. But Vietnamese and German is like the highest one. But what? <laughs> Only fifty five percent Filipino in my butt in my blood. But of course East Asian is there because of course they are East Asian or Pacific Islander. Um but point nine percent of Spain is Spanish blood. That's, that's shocking to me because like I said Spain was like had the longest um, rule over the Philippines and I'm amazed I'm surprised that only 0.9% is Spanish <laughs> in my family well for me in a way so yeah so that is basically the result so I'm still shocked oh my gosh but uh <laughs> <laughs> that is the result for the DNA text. So yes, this is CRI genetics that I I got because it got like five star review. So yeah. But anyway, I'm still shocked. But anyway, so that is it. So bye. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So back up a little. So uh, there's advanced timeline. This is basically. Okay, so what I said, our advanced ancestry timeline fully analyzed your entire DNA sequence to determine not only your ancestral history, but its complete timeline as well. So this is basically timeline of my history, well, family history. <laughs> and I found something shocking. Okay, so Southern Han Chinese, so this is four generations back, which was approximately year 1870 AD to 1930 AD uh, oh, accuracy is 99% and then of course with the, we got the King Vietnamese which of course that was in my DNA and then Chinese die then Southern Han Chinese once again five generations back and then King Vietnamese five generations back but this is shocking to me Peruvian Peruvian and this was five generations back in only one segment so a segment is a specific group of 
S N P S that was found to match up people a group, match up people group. Then Japanese. <laughs> five generations back, then Chinese die. Five generations. King Vietnamese, six generations, and Japanese once again. Chinese die, Southern Han Chinese, King Vietnamese, Chinese die, Northern Han Chinese, Southern Han Chinese, Vietnamese, Southern, Northern Han Chinese, Chinese die, Southern Han Chinese. So it's getting lesser and lesser. King Vietnamese, Northern Han Chinese. Chinese die, Japanese, which is 99%, nine generations back, Kujarati, Indian, then nine generations back, then Southern Han Chinese, Vietnamese, Han Chinese, Northern Han, die, Southern Han, Vietnamese, Chinese die, Northern Han, Japanese, Southern Han, Vietnamese, Japanese, Dai, Northern Han, Sri Lankan Tamil, have no clue where that is. Twelve generations back, Southern Han, Ta Peruvian once again, Vietnamese, Dai, Japanese, Vietnamese, Dai, Southern Han, Northern Han, Japanese, Han, Southern Han, Vietnamese, Dai, Japanese, Japanese, <laughs> Chinese Dai, Chinese Dai once again, Southern Han, Vietnamese, Japanese, Northern Han, Vietnamese, Chinese Dai, Vietnamese, Han Chinese, Northern Han, Dai, Japanese. <laughs> oh, dang! But shocking one is like the Peruvian and then um, the Sri Lankan one. That is the most shocking to me. Like, where did that come from? And then the Indian. But I didn't see most of these is like Southern, uh, Eastern Asia, like Ch Japan, Japanese, Chinese, and Vietnamese is much more is much more you know well advanced in my DNA but oh my god what okay anyway so that is the end so bye and <laughs>